Good evening. Today our journey starts in Brisbane, Australia, and we are traveling to a really special place in the middle of Pacific Ocean called Vanuatu, which is a small country which comprises of 82 islands, and we will visit two islands in this eight-day long trip. So, without further ado, let's go. And it's almost midnight now, so we're going straight to customs and then to hotel. So see you tomorrow morning. And welcome to Tana Island which is a small island about 40 minutes flight south of capital Port Vila. So let's now explore this magnificent island. On the way through the island, we bought some vegetables from local villagers. Behind me you can see a volcano called Mount Yasser and it's one of the most active volcanoes in all of Vanuatu and even in the whole world. And here around this area it's this black desert here which looks like somewhere in Iceland. just came to our accommodation for these two nights we are staying in Tana Island and as you can see we are 10 meters above the ground in a house which is built completely in the tree and behind me here you can see the volcano itself good sunny morning from Tana Island our original plan was that local guy from the treehouse would take us on his car and we would go to some interesting places such as tribal village but there is no petrol in the whole Tana Island so nobody can drive the car that's why we are now walking and we will explore this island by ourselves on foot Because we are so close to the volcano, the whole area here is covered with dust and the ash from the volcano and here everywhere you can see it raining from the sky. I have it everywhere in my eyes, nose, mouth. This is not easy to live here definitely. I can already feel the small ash particles inside my throat and lungs. It's so hard to breathe, so I've come up with a solution. I will still be blind, but at least I will be able to breathe. With the last bits of petrol, we could drive to the top of the volcano. Absolutely wow! Well, as you can hear, we are right next to the Yasser volcano. We are now climbing all the way to the top. Behind me you can see the smoke rising and even to get here 
by car was something crazy. The, I've never seen such a bad road as this one. And now we're walking the last bit. summit behind me you can see the crater and the lava and some kind of a sulfury grain is here now so I'm afraid about the camera so maybe this will be the last few shots or I have to hide it back in the backpack but this is something like unreal out of this world I cannot even describe the feeling I'm having here at the top The white car turned up after one hour under a volcano. Okay, so here we are with our host from this beautiful tree house. So can you introduce yourself a bit and tell us a few words about you? My name is Mike Sam. I'm from the island of Tana, from a, a village called uh, Kelly. I have a family, little family, and uh, we own this tree house uh, like almost 10 years ago. We have our own uh, language, we call uh, Nafe, it's the local dialect from this area, it's only spoken here. Well, uh, living in the island is uh, less expensive, everything is uh, almost free. You can go for a walk, you can meet friendly people smiling faces they just live like um, in a unique like everywhere a all around okay so it was so nice to meet you thank you thank you very much and thank hopefully you. see you again yeah, bye. when going to the airport we stopped at a local market in tana's largest village lanakel Soon we got this fancy boarding pass and when the boarding was ready you could walk from the outside to the plane in 30 seconds because airports in Vanuatu are without any security. Welcome to Espiritu Santo, which is the largest island in Vanuatu. But because it's 
now already almost half past six and the uh, sun is already down. We will just head back to our hotel and tomorrow we will start exploring the island. So, see you tomorrow. We just found one of the most incredible places on Espiritu Santo Island. It's this natural blue hole called Jackie's Blue Hole. It's in the middle of jungle and the water is just so clear. Then we got the opportunity to visit a local village called Leveton and experience the local culture, music and dancing of the villagers. After the fascinating experience, we said goodbye and went for a refreshment to another blue hole because it was more than 30 degrees outside. We've just discovered another blue hole, this one's called Matevulu and again the colors of the water look just insane. And here there's a huge tree from where you can even jump to the water. like this one which is called Lonok Beach so we will now discover this part of the island it's a bit cloudy now but should be sunny in a few moments
after getting to the end of the paved road uh, in a small village called Port Orly, we went to this smaller dirt road and we will now we are now in the beginning and according to navigation it goes for about 15 kilometers almost to the end of the island so we will see how far we will get So we found this small kind of village at the end of the road, but we found out that only one lady lives in this house. How long have you lived here? How many years? Mm, long time. Long time. Like long time. 10 years. Um, 50 years or 40, eh, no, 40 years. 40 years here. <coughs> So this is your house for 40 years. So this is your house. Oh, very nice. So you are only here, so no, your family is staying in Port Orly. So how often do you see each other? How? Uh, they come. So they come like each week here? Right, tomorrow. Oh, they will come. Mm. How are your children called? Uh, Liz, Tata, Liz, Ken, Liz, Eric, oh. uh, Ropet, Robea, Pusko, Marina. So nice to meet you. And now? The worst thing awaits us and that is that we have to go back 15 kilometers on this really bad road. These leaves don't look that huge on the camera but look when I put my hand there, they are enormous. So when searching the internet I stumbled upon some information about some waterfall which should be here on Santo but there was only some GPS coordinates so we put it in the map and we went about 24 kilometers on some small dirt road and now we are almost at the waterfalls which is insane so let's go for the last few hundred meters and we will be there the car so dirty that it really looks like if we went somewhere <laughs> uh, 
after these nine days. It's incredible, but our adventure is almost over. In about two hours, we are flying to Port Vila and then to Brisbane. We experienced so much different things. We climbed up the volcano. We went to these blue holes. We were swimming in Pacific Ocean. It looks on the footage so pretty. When you are here, the reality is a bit different because you cannot feel it through the camera. But throughout the whole time, it's so incredibly hot and especially humid. But this humidity is like even a bit different than anywhere else I've been so far. So after a few days, it's quite difficult for me to exist in this weather. And I'm so excited to go somewhere where it's only 10 degrees in Europe. Then also there's not much to eat here because we thought there's a lot of fruits on Vanuatu but it seems that not so much. The only major thing are coconuts and apart from that a few rotten bananas and that's pretty much it so no fruits as well. And the only supermarket on the whole island there's almost nothing to buy so on this food site it's not also ideal here on Vanuatu and the main thing which is not good is that all of Vanuatu there are so many different mosquitoes and I have already like 20 bites but that would be okay somewhere in Europe but these are not usual mosquitoes because all Vanuatu has a high risk of malaria and other diseases so I hope that we didn't get any and even some of those bites can easily get infected like these two. So hopefully we will not experience any post effects in Brisbane or in Europe. Apart from that it was really good experience to visit this small Pacific island nation. We only need now to get to Australia and then we will fly for 30 hours back to Europe. Which will be a long journey, but after 7 weeks we will be back home. So I hope you enjoyed our adventure also in Australia and then here on Vanuatu. And see you from somewhere in the world next time. Cheers!